you go. That was good. I got that on camera. Sweet. <laughs> that was no clutch work. I was just gunning it in first. Really? Yeah. That's impressive. I'm getting the feel of it. It's taking getting used to. Yeah, Matt, why don't you give us your um, take on it, what you think of it. Tell us a little about it. <laughs> All right. So a uh, friend of mine, Jeff, we'll call him Jeff, <laughs> he, uh, he brought two of these Honda, Honda Hawks. They're, uh, or not, they're not a Honda Hawk. I keep wanting to call them that in case you couldn't catch them. Take two. Oh, a friend of mine. <laughs> We'll call him Jeff. We'll call him Jeff. <laughs> Jeff brought these hawks, and I can't even remember what the actual name is. You? I don't. I don't even know who manufactured them, but that's. Yeah. They're they're kind of made, but uh, good little engine seems pretty solid. Ride is good, you know. It's dirt bike, dirt bike is quality. I'm having to get used to the different size because I'm using. KLR650 and the V Strom. So there's a little bit of just there, and I think once I get past that, I'll enjoy it a little bit more. I did not enjoy the highway riding portion when we got up to above 45. It just feels too small and too light, but as far as power, and it's got what it needs. I don't feel like it's lacking at all. It handles fairly well. Does on these bumpy roads here, it feels it's taking the bumps. I mean, I can feel the bumps quite a bit more than on the KLR, but at the same time, I don't feel like it's pitching me all over like I would get on the KLR if I got a little bit sideways. Yeah, I would, I felt like that was gonna be the, the big one whenever I was on this. Like that little hairpin turn, you just did there. But, I'd uh, be easier on that. Oh, yeah, yeah, and I can kind of jump over these rocks instead of yeah. Jay, how much do those retail for? The, uh, the, the retail price, I think, is $13.99. Okay. So $1,400. Not bad for that. I mean, I personally would look for a used XT or old CRF-230 been 15, 1600, but you know. Straight, straight or turn, Jay? Uh, hold on for a second. Turn right at intersection. Okay. Oh, okay, you guys go. Okay, all right. Both of you. Now I'm regretting this heavier jacket. I, I'm glad I took the leg off. I was uh, freezing while ago, now I'm freaking warm. You did look little on that when you stood up. I look little? Yeah. I mean, the bike looked little. Yeah. You look big for the bike. <laughs> Does this bike make me look big? <laughs> like a giant. <laughs> so, Matt, do you think it's the tires that make you feel more stable on that one, or just, just the size and everything in general? Um, it could have a lot to do with the tires. Because I, you know, I haven't felt it go slippy yet. Yeah. And I'm playing a little bit more on this one. Yeah. So I'm sure that has a lot. I know that those tires that are on the ETL are not ideal for what we're on. Because they just don't have knobs. They're, they're cleats, but they're not knobby cleats. Yeah, and in your the middle tire's is nothing. about yeah. Your back tire's about gone, too. Yeah. That's where my, my cheapness means that I, I took a pair of tires that I had sitting around and stuck them on there instead of going and getting the right tire for the right, neat, you know, purpose. Yeah. But. but now that I have two bikes, I can put more aggressive tread on the KLR. Yeah. And, you know, 80, 20 on the Metzler, I mean, on the uh, V-Strom, and I should be good to go.
These are the Kenda, what are they, the Trite Masters we got, Jay? Yeah, they're Trite Master 2s. They're pretty inexpensive and they are awesome tires. Yeah. Yeah, they're not that, I mean, what What would you think on his Kayla? A hundred bucks? I have no idea. For both of them? Uh, more than that. For both Maybe of them. a little bit. A little bit more, but not a lot. No, nah, they're yeah. probably the same size rear tire. Yeah, I can't remember what we paid for ours, but they're fairly inexpensive for a good tire. And what yeah. we like about them is they're really hard, so it takes a while to wear them down on the road as well. Yeah, that's good. Now you go. You go. Here comes some weird stuff there. It's weird. Yeah. Didn't know how else to describe that. <laughs> it's all every type of train in one. Yeah. Yeah, see that little curve right there? I could not have taken the KLR at that speed. Yeah. She's a lot more nimble. Yeah. It's got this higher back seat so I can sit up and see farther. <laughs> it's almost like I'm standing, but not quite. Okay, you want to ride it first or you want me to? You go ahead. I got the map stuff uh, going on. Oh, yeah. You don't want to put me on reading directions. <laughs> That'd be a bad day. Wow. This is weird, it's so much taller than my XT. Oh yeah, this is a short. Is this on? No. no. Is this thing on? No. Is this thing on? Her. Dead. I can't hardly get my, my boot won't go under the shifter. Yeah, it's uh, difficult to get you. Gosh, this feels weird now. <laughs> <laughs> what the heck is rattling on this thing? Oh man, I meant to check that out when we stopped. I think there's like a compartment under the seat or something. Yeah, you got, he's got a tool thing on the left side. A tool holder. Probably what it is. Wow, the first... Oh my goodness. It that, doesn't it feel weird? That steering is so freaky. The front end feels like it's just going to go right out from under you. Mine feels so much more planted. Interesting. You're probably thinking the opposite. Yeah, it's just... I think it's just that whole getting used to something. Yeah. It just feels sketchy as crap to me. Okay, take, take it easy. I am taking it easy. I know. I'm just it's saying. Freaking 19 miles an hour. You'll start to get used to it though, because I mean, I, the, when I first was on it, even when we were back at Jeff's house, and you know, when we yeah. rode out to his house to check it out, it just felt so strange. It took me some real getting used to. I'm having a real, I don't even know how you got your boot under that shifter, Matt. Yeah, I just had to get, learn to do a funny uh, angle. He tried to move him up, he said he couldn't because the crankcase was in the way. Huh. I do like that it handles like a dirt bike. Yeah, it's very light and uh, flicky. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Oh, I did. You <laughs> did. Got a little washy. Got a little washy. Crap. You better look out, girl. I know, right? Whoa. You're all over the place. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's weird. I don't like that at all. No, it does not feel it, good to stand up on. No, it pushes your thighs out. There's uh -huh. something about the plastic. Oh yeah. Uh, yeah. Not your, not your thighs, your calves, and it's like you like that. Yeah. Yeah. All right.
Hey, Jay, do you want to ride this? And I'll ride yours? Real uh, quick, we'll just do a quick switch off. I uh, think you should. Uh, Alright, well. Yeah, okay, because the next turn we gotta turn right at the uh, intersection. Ah, I guess we're stopping right now! <laughs> Already feels weird. Yeah, it's Very different. Weird. It's, Very uh, the different. seat's so wide. Yeah, it's comfortable once your feet are up, though. Woo. Well, that front end is loose. Is it? It's, it's like, loose. you do, the, it's got like a lot of play. Yeah, it's, it's, wait till you hit a curve with the gravel. It's like, holy crap, I'm gonna fly into oblivion. Throttle's so, well, the throttle has, the throttle cable needs to be adjusted big time on this. That's oh, a lot yeah. of, a lot of free play. Yes, yes, yes. I noticed that as soon as I got on Misty's, how much touchier it was. Mine's touchier, that one's touchy. Your throttle's more touchy on this one. It's more responsive, I guess. Yeah, yeah, I noticed that. That's yeah. what that was when I first got on it. Woo. And I was like, well, that was, that's a weird feeling. Buzzy little sucker, too. Yeah, I think that's that tool holder. Yeah. But it's honestly, you know, that you give it time, it kind of grows on you, though. It's not bad. No. Yeah. It's just the new awkwardness, I guess, that you have yeah. to get used to. Which is just like when I jumped on this one. I've never ridden this one. Yeah. And hers is totally different than mine. Oh, really? Yeah, I think it is anyway. Yours feels more like mine now than it used to, yeah. I think. Plus, going from that to this, it feels, uh. Wow, that's so weird. Familiar. <laughs> it is kind of flickable, though. I like it. I think it's a. I mean, for the for the a brand new bike, that price point. Oh yeah. It's you got can't some. Beat that. No, it's got some good. You know, there's just a few adjustments you can make and make it better. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, shoot, change the fork oil, probably make it a little bit better. Yeah. Because uh, the front end, I think, it's just got too much. It needs to be stiffer. Yeah. Yes. And I, I noticed that, that going over bumps, I kept throwing me forward, even standing. You really have to pull up on the front. Yeah. Um, to get it to pop up, because in the back could be a little softer, because that was pitching yeah. me forward hard. But I mean, it's pretty easy to steer. Yeah. It corrects pretty easy. Nice view over there. But yeah, this XT is fun. Yeah. I can I can see why you guys are I wish you raving. Could yeah. Climb a hill on that thing. Oh, yeah. Okay, Jay, that's uh, Kimball right there. Who? That's Kimball. And Donna, probably. She knows you guys. <laughs> Jay actually knows him. <laughs>